On the morning of the winter solstice, with a heavy frost on the ground, I drove into town. There they cut the Australian condition from my shoulder. A quick slice and you're on your way. The legacy of long childhood days playing in the sun. Back home on the farm, I lit a small fire under the golden elm. Beneath its skeleton of branch and twig. Boiled the billy to sit and think and write in the still cold light of the garden shed. Making tea is a sacrament that takes time. Stewing over words, I failed. So I warmed myself by the dying flame and sipped from my cup of fine bone china, all the time being watched by a small yellow robin, curious perhaps at the rising pillar of smoke and family rituals. That's when the damage was done. That's what the skin cancer surgeon said. That long childhood spent out there under the Australian sun. We used to spend every summer, weeks on end, down at um, Port Elliot Caravan Park on the south coast in South Australia. Just, I suppose, you started out as a baby, being plunked down in the sand with the, feeling the, the feeling the warm sand between your fingers and your toes and playing with your bucket and spade that you got for Christmas. And you slowly graduated as you got older to surfing and fishing. And uh, we slept out in the, in the annex of the caravan and you would, you would hear the wind and the rain against the, the canvas. And the waves, you'd always hear the beat of the sea, the waves curling down along the beach as they folded along the great curve of that bay. My heritage is Anglo-Celtic German. Uh, so I suppose there's a fair bit of fair skin in that, in that history. You've had the glory of that childhood outdoors. Would you go back and change it? I'm not so sure. You go to write about something like that to process it and, and the words just don't flow. And so you sit there and get visited by small birds and uh, and just think about the legacy of childhood and all those years listening to the you know the great song of the ocean and feeling the warm sand between your fingers and your toes later when the frost had turned to droplets of dew that clung all through the day the clouds returned to cover a weak sun. That's when the honey eaters came out to feed amongst the banksias, searching for the nectar, as the fire ash cooled and the last wood smoke rose through the bare branches of the elm. <laughs> 